what is this this is plastic yeah yep it's interchangeable so if you if you break it <laughs> this is my daughter Cassidy attempting to push me up a ramp on a snowy incline she weighs about 97 pounds soaking wet you're heavy <laughs> <laughs> Well, I couldn't have done that on my own for sure. <laughs> That's 200 pounds going uphill. Guys, I want you to meet Tom. Tom, how are you? Hey, Stan. Thanks for having me. All right, so Tom here has the Chore Warrior. This used to be formerly called the Electric Paw Wheelbarrow. Right. And uh, you've got some updates and changes that you've done to this. Can't I see a new cart? This is new, isn't it? Yes, it is. So when did you guys do this now? We did this in the last two years. It's a wire mesh tray. We had a lot of customers that wanted to be able to, like bags of mulch, bags of rock. Uh -huh. You know, other things that can pile on the tray. We've got painting contractors that that use it for moving their, their gear in and out. Right. Know, so. And I see yellow tires, and then we've got regular tires, and the yellow are the run flat. Right. Right, so we could run over a bed of nails with it. Well, I think you've tested it with razor blades. I have. I've never had an issue and we've got your standard dirt treads on these. Right, and that works great for landscaping. Any sort of terrain, sand, it works really well in sand. It'll run through concrete. Now this is an electric wheelbarrow. Right. So this is actually a, what is basically a power assist. Here's your control panel right here. Right, it your, turns on right here. Yep. It lights up to show the charge. And then from this point, variable speed thumb drive. It's got forward and reverse, so this changes it to forward. I've tested other electric wheelbarrows, and I'm gonna go on the record and say that this is the best bang for the buck, the best value for what you're getting. And I'm actually thinking about Makita's wheelbarrow that's right. out there. All right, you guys, I'm gonna jump in here because the Makita wheelbarrow runs off a couple of these. And these just don't give you the kind of runtime that a guy out on a job site really needs. The Chore Warrior runs off from multiple ATV batteries locked inside of a steel cage. The cool part is you can work all day long on one charge with this wheelbarrow. Makita has an electric wheelbarrow that runs off their batteries. And do not put these two wheelbarrows in the same category. I would never do that in any way, shape, or form. I'm not trying to throw you Makita lovers under the bus. I've used their wheelbarrow and there is zero comparison in any way, shape, or form except for the fact that they're both wheelbarrows and both power assisted. And that's where the similarities end in my opinion. You know, this is our battery compartment. You know, basically what it is, is it's spring loaded and it snaps out and it's all rechargeable. What Inside of this are two 12 volt batteries, the same, same batteries that you can purchase at Fleet Farm for 15 bucks a piece. So they're hooked up in series, so this is a 24 volt system. It'll go all day on a single charge, and you've used it for years, so you know that it works all day. So when you're talking about all day, it will, run it will do a typical job on a, in a real world job site we've had used these many times we'll actually run it two or three days before we charge it back up and that happens typically we're not going in we're not plugging it in on, on lunch break or nothing like that the guys will leave the job for the day come back the next day and it'll still have enough and even when the battery goes dead you still have a wheelbarrow right and so that's what we're finding out is that it's it's definitely more than a one day operation but if you take a look at this, this is seal. This is almost bulletproof. This, the, our motor and engine, you can shoot it with a gun and it pretty much stays in shape. Um, we've got sealed bearings. We don't recommend running this underwater, but you can hose it off at the end of the day. Everything is sealed, you know, so that you know you don't have to fix it every 15 minutes. You don't have to repair it. And the reason why I pulled this off is you can buy extra batteries. If you're doing this and you're using it all day and you're worried about it discharging, you just snap this in and plug it in and you got another battery. We built it 
vigorously to take the test of work and we stand behind it for a full year. So it's fully warranted, parts and labor. We don't have any gotchas in the warranty. If it breaks, we're gonna replace it or fix it. No excuses? No, none. It's a tool, you know, so, and it's gotta stand up to what it's made for. Do you have a website? Yeah, we do, it's chorewarrior.com. So is it spelled the same as yep, on your hat? Exactly. Chorewarrior.com, what do these go for? These are, as it's equipped here with our standard package with a six foot tub, it's $799. It's $869 with the metal tray. If you buy it just, just plain, you know, without a tray, and, and you're gonna bolt on your own tray, yep. like a Jackson metal tray or something like that, we sell it for because these are re nice. replaceable yes so if you bust this out just replace the tub your, right. your unit is fine four bolts yep one two and you can actually see it under there because these are all the same framework with different tire they're options. all the same i see a trailer hitch mount on it a lot of well what we do is we put this on for boat trailers and closed trailers some of your tool trailers you can use this for moving trailers by just hooking that and it'll push and pull a lot of weight it's amazing. I mean, the owner of our company, Chip, has used this to pull a Suburban. You know, so it's got that much power. All right. Something I want to show you. Okay. All right. Can, can you come with me for a minute? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I want to show you guys something, too. Let's go down back here. So one of the questions is, is how durable that's going to be? You know, is that going to fall apart after a while and what have you? I've got three of them. All three of them are still in operation to this day. Here's where I keep mine. So I have one, I gave one to another family member and the guys have their own. This is it. For four years, it has sat outside. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. The guys dropped off my other one. So this is the cruise wheel belt right here. Actually. That's pretty much froze in. This has reverse. Yes. These ramps aren't heavy, but they're about 75 pounds each. And then that way I'm not doing the workout. I found that these work especially well in carrying firewood from the outside all the way into the house. You're not worrying about gas or oil or fumes. And it does the work for you. That's a good tip. So it's time to put them to the test. Okay. But we're gonna need a volunteer from the audience for this next part. Oh, I think you're talking about me. Wheelbarrow doesn't do everything for you. It will do the pulling, but you still got to be able to lift the back end up. So let me ask you something, Tom. How old are you? 66. 66 years old. Incredibly I weigh, out of shape. I weigh a little over 200 pounds with all my work clothes on. So you get to be my volunteer. I guess so. So it's got an on button and an off button, right? Super helpful. Now you've got to turn it off when you're not using it so that you don't wear the juice down, but this thing will run about eight, nine hours of good charge time. So you should, guys should be able to use it wow, for that's pretty long. a week, two weeks yeah. before you got to bring it back and charge it up. When you guys want to charge up your battery, you pop this out, okay, see that? And then you push the battery to the side. You take this, you charge this up, your wheelbarrow stays wherever you want your wheelbarrow. You're not loading it, hauling it, and worrying nice. about it. But I'm Come not on. putting any of my strength in it either. <laughs> well, you gotta put a little bit. No, but then See what you can do. Maybe just not. Try. Maybe I, not. It, push not hard. Right. No. Push like you mean it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some people's children. 
Maybe she shouldn't get a wheelbarrow. <laughs> you can if you want to. <laughs> that was that. Not that hard. Not at all. Hey Siri. Uh huh. What's the temp out? All right, it's one degree. And we've let these sit out for three weeks in a deep frost. So let's see how she does. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. So basically the power of the wheelbarrow is limited by how much weight you can manage safely by lifting the back two uh, br braces off from the ground. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> yeah, what the, are these things called? Somebody please tell us in the comments because I don't even know. Yeah, what, stabilizers, safety bars, legs, supports. Yeah, something. Get those off the ground and the tires will do the rest for you. <laughs> Cause that's about 200 pounds on there yeah and between you and me we're we're each probably 200 pounds with all of our winter gear and equipment on so there you go that's the chore warrior you guys Another thing to think about when you're looking for a wheelbarrow is how easy is it to get it out to the job site or off from your job site once you're there. The thing I like about this thing is even though it is a power assisted wheelbarrow, it's not that much heavier than a regular wheelbarrow. All right guys, well, the wheelbarrow does most of the work. It doesn't do all of it. Just so you know, I just wanna make sure that we're very clear on it. Uh, but if these guys want more information, can you tell me how guys could reach out to you, Tom? Through the website is the best, Dan. www.chorewarrior, just like this, .com. Okay. And do you have any other videos or anything out there for guys to be able to see how this thing works and operates if they want more information? On the website, there's a lot of video. There is. You're right. Okay, and that's it for today's video. If this video has helped you out, you guys, and you like reviews like this, let me know in the comments down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us test this thing out. But that's it for this one. God bless you guys. Go get them. We'll catch you on another one.